This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at MusicLM, a new AI model from Google Research to generate music from text. So given a text caption like this, a fusion of reggaeton and electronic dance music with a spacey otherworldly sound and other text over here like this, this is the music which has been generated from this model. Okay. There are other examples over here also. For example, this is long audio which has been generated given a particular text prompt. Okay, for example, this is melodic techno. And this is a five minute music which has been generated from this prompt alone. Okay, so now let's go to the model and understand how this works. Okay, for this we need to look at the paper. Okay, so in this paper, this figure explains how this particular model was created. Okay. So here, this is the training phase. This is the inference phase. Okay. So in the training phase, there is audio, which is given as input, right? Audio only is, uh, is used for training. Audio only training set is used over here, right? So what is done is that this audio is given to three AI models over here. One is Mulan. Other one is W2V BERT and then there is sound stream. So what is MULAN? MULAN stands for Joint Embedding of Music, Audio and Natural Language. Okay. So the idea is that if you give music, audio and text, it generates a joint embedding for that. Okay. So here is a small figure of how it was uh, trained basically. So the audio is given as an input to an audio embedding network text is given as uh, input to a text embedding network. So this pair is given audio embedding is generated, text embedding is generated and there is an audio text contrastive loss over here. Okay. So the idea over here is that in the training phase, since only audio is given, only the audio embedding is taken out of it. So that gives you this MULAN tokens. Okay. Then what does W2V BERT do? So W2V BERT is another AI model. Okay which makes use of a BERT like pre-training network, right? So for contrastive learning and mass language modeling for self-supervised speech training. So the idea over here is to get representation for self speech representation for self-supervised learning. Okay. So from self-supervised learning, you get speech representations. So here you get something called as semantic tokens from W2V BERT. Okay. Then there is sound stream. What does sound stream do? Sound stream is an end to end neural audio codec okay so audio codecs are used for compressing audio so again here to get some kind of audio representations okay or acoustic tokens so how is this particular training happening over here so basically you give this audio as an input to mulan w2v bert and soundstream okay so from mulan you get this mulan tokens from w2v bert you get some semantic tokens from sound stream, you get acoustic tokens. Okay. For this audio input. So you have got some kind of tokens from each of these three models over here. What is done is that from this MULAN audio tokens, you have a transformer, which does something called semantic modeling to predict the semantic tokens. Okay. So this is the first phase of training a semantic modeling transformer over here. So you have the input audio, you have the ground truth semantic token, you have the uh, MULAN token coming from this MULAN um, model, right? Then you can actually do a sequence to sequence transformer to predict the semantic tokens from this MULAN tokens. Okay. This is the semantic modeling. Then you use, so you use the predicted semantic token and the MULAN token, right? In the next phase called acoustic modeling, where there is another transformer. Okay. What this does is that it tries to predict the acoustic tokens. You have the ground truth acoustic tokens coming from sound stream over here. So in this way, you are training two transformers over here, one called semantic modeling and one called acoustic modeling. Okay. So the semantic modeling conditions on the MULAN tokens, the acoustic modeling conditions on both the semantic and MULAN tokens over here. Okay. So that is the training phase. So in the inference phase, all you need to do is that you feed the input uh, text to this MULAN. Okay. It generates the text embedding because MULAN generates uh, embedding uh, text audio embeddings in the joint space. 
So instead of the acoustic token as input to this semantic lab modeling, here this MuLand text tokens are given as input. Okay, to the semantic modeling transformer, it predicts the semantic tokens. Now with the MuLand uh, text tokens and the semantic tokens which has been predicted from this transformer, you give it as an input to the acoustic modeling transformer, which produces acoustic tokens, which is given to Soundstream decoder to generate your audio. That is the simple idea which is being done over here. Other details are present in the paper, okay? But the idea is this much, right? At a high level, this is the idea, okay? So they make use of pre-trained MuLan Audio, WTV BERT and Soundstream models which have been pre-trained independently. That's what is written over here, right? Other fine details are present in the paper of how they did it. Okay, what are the other nitty gritties of this particular? But at a high level, this is the idea. There are two transformer models called semantic modeling transformer and acoustic modeling transformer over here, which have been trained. So semantic modeling takes as input the MuLan audio, uh, audio tokens and produces semantic tokens, right? Acoustic modeling takes as input MuLan tokens and semantic tokens and then tries to predict the acoustic tokens. And during inference, you make use of the text tokens from MuLan. Okay, to predict the semantic token from the semantic modeling transformer and then use a combination of the text and semantic to predict the audio use uh, audio or acoustic tokens using acoustic modeling. The acoustic tokens are given in, uh, as an input to Soundstream decoder to generate audio. That is the idea. Okay, so for to completely understand this, you need to understand each of these three models as well. So I'll be putting the link to these papers as well as in the description of the video. Let's look at some other examples over here of, uh, you know, long generation. Uh, so we saw an example of long generation. Okay. Um, now let's look at uh, story mode. Okay. So the idea over here is that, uh, you know, first 15 seconds is based on this particular text. Time to meditate. Then you have time to give up. So you can actually generate you know, your music based on a set of captions over here. And what they're saying over here is that sequence of tricks, these influence how the model continues the semantic to tokens derived from the previous caption. That is the idea over here. Okay, this is slightly longer music generation over here. Okay. Then you have text and melody conditioning. Okay. So here you have Bellasio humming. Okay. This is jingle bells whistling. See, your jingle bells in types of uh, in like like whistling. Right. This is quite interesting. Lot of samples are present over here. You can go check out. This is also uh, is also interesting. This is painting caption conditioning. So you have a painting uh, description, and from that, an audio has been generated over here. Okay. Another example: Napoleon crossing the Alps. Basically, this is the text which is available over here. So this is quite an interesting work. Uh, you can go check out this particular page. I will also put the link to this in the description of the video of how you can generate music from uh, text. I hope this video on music LM is useful to you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video.